Here's the secret to catching more coconut salmon. Tuna in oil, corn, and yes, jello gelatin. Oh my goodness. Hi, I'm J.U. Welcome back to J.U. Nation Fishing. This is a sixth part of a series dealing with confessions of an addicted coconut fisherman. I hope you enjoy it so far. It's been a tremendous undertaking for me to put it together, but I'm glad I did because I'm going to be referring back to the sixth part as I chase for coconut salmon in the future. So in this last part, I'm going to talk to you guys about a key component to catching a lot of coconut salmon, and that is the scent. And is it the corn or is it the color? So let's get right to it. Realistically, all you need is tuna in oil and the simple whole kernel corn, golden sweet. That's all you need. I've caught lots of coconut salmon by just mixing these two together. Mixing this and this together. So why are you seeing this lime, strawberry, and orange jello gelatin? That's because I use these for curing my salmon roll for steelhead fishing. And as I mentioned to you, I'm gonna apply some of, of my steelhead technique to coconut salmon fishing. So I'm gonna start experimenting and start mixing these three colors so I get an orange, red, and green. And I've never used this before, but people speak highly of it. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and use this. Of course, this costs two bucks versus this, which costs you maybe 60, 70 cents. So it's up to you. But you know, as a fisherman, I'm gonna try different things. So I'm gonna now make up uh, a portion that has this and another portion that has this. And they're both gonna have tuna in oil in it. And then I'm gonna mix them and have these different colors. And of course, I'm gonna leave it plain. Because I've caught plenty of coconut salmon without any kind of color, just plain old corn. And these, these are the only two I need to catch a lot of coconut salmon in the past. So the first step I'm gonna do is drain all the juice out of these two corn here, and I'll be right back with only the corn by itself with no more juice left. I hate to say this, I've never used super corn before, but it looked to me it's a lot smaller than the golden corn that I've been using right here. This is the golden corn that I've been using, and it looks to me like in better shape. Look at look how big it is compared to this super corn. Super corn looks like smaller to me. Okay, I don't know what the big deal is, but I feel like the white super corn doesn't look as good. But I'm gonna use both of them. We'll see how it goes. So it tastes good. So now I'm gonna do is drain out the the oil from this tuna can and put them into each one of these bowls. One one can for this and one can for this other one. Okay, regular golden corn. I'm gonna drain the entire oil into this. In the past, this is all I need to do. And I bring it out there, I hook them into my lure, and I've just been catching a lot, of sal a lot of coconut salmon just doing that simple task. That is it. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other, with the other batch. There you go. This is shoe pad corn. Turn the oil in here, and of course I'm gonna mix it all up. Saucy road, guys. And for the whole can, all I need is one of those. Mix it all up. This is all I need to tip my hooks with. Now the other side, same thing. Mix them all up. That's it. Now I'm going to portion this into four bags. The first bag, I'm going to leave it just as is. Four equal 
bags all right I've portioned it into roughly four equal bags and now I'm gonna open up the cello gelatin and put one in each one of these bags so I have one that's natural and three that's different color in pink green and orange okay family this is a trick I learned from my steelhead fishing days I'm gonna put one tablespoon of lime strawberry and orange into these bags right here one tablespoon of orange One tablespoon of strawberry. One tablespoon of lime. That is it. Seal this bag up, leave them in the refrigerator for 24 hours, and you can start seeing the color already. See the red color here, the orange color here. The green color here and I'm not sure if color is a big deal or not I think it's a tuna scent the tuna oil scent that's the key I'm gonna tell you in the future how it goes but I got one plain one now one green one one pink one and one orange one I'm gonna freeze it until I'm ready to use it that's simple as that I'm gonna do this, repeat the same method with the white shoe pad corn right now all right, now this is the white shoe pet corn with uh, tuna in oil. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of orange in here. One tablespoon of strawberry in here. Still had trick guys. And one tablespoon of lime. Get a nice green color and a little sweet. I don't know. Coconut salmon is like uh, steelhead. They're, gonna, they're like sweet, so here, I got them all in there. Shake it up, and this is my control, it's got nothing in it. That's pretty much it. As I said, family, I already know that these corn that are with tuna oil work perfectly. I don't need any extra color. So this one I'm experimenting. Actually, I'm putting two tablespoons of each color in there. Two tablespoons of lime, two tablespoons of cherry, into this white shoe pack corn and two tablespoons of orange cello gelatin into this white shoe pack, shoe pack corn and this is my regular corn here golden corn look very beautiful and the one I have the most success with in the past I've never used white shoe pack corn before so this is gonna be the first for me but this this regular one has been my go-to all money I'm gonna have a green one Two tablespoons in there, two tablespoons of cherry, strawberry, I mean, and two tablespoons of orange. It worked for steelhead, so I'm hoping that it's gonna work for coconut salmon. I will report back to you guys in one of the future video. There you have it, family. My simple recipe for catching coconut. I truly believe it's the scent and not really the corn or whatever, because I'm gonna start using trying out with raisin. The last time I used raisin, but I didn't use any scent on it, so it didn't work that well. But I think whatever little corn or, or raisin that stays in the hook really well, and you put some tuna in oil, basically is all you need. But as fishermen, we always like to have fun. So I like to have fun with coconut fishing. So I'm gonna make orange, green, and pink. It's my go-to color when I try to catch salmon. As always, family and friends, there are lots of good fishing videos out there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for six consecutive videos dealing with coconut salmon. And I hope that you will come back in the future and see how I do, the tricks I use, whether it works or not. Until the next time, family, peace out. Woo! Bam!